Hey guys, welcome to the Animation Movies Recapped. This is David with you. In today's video, I will be going through a 2019 British 3D computer animated superhero film called Star Dog and Turbo Cat. I love the movie very much and hope you will like too. So without any further ado let's start with the recap. This animated movie opens up in the year 1969. In the first scene, a dog named Buddy runs out from his cage excitedly into the embrace of a human who is named David. David happens to be Buddy's owner. He asks Buddy if he likes the new space suit he bought for him. Buddy wiggles his tail and happily tells David that he likes it. However, David doesn't understand Buddy and all he hears is Buddy barking. David gives Buddy his lunch pack which he is holding. He then shows Buddy a gigantic space capsule. He tells Buddy he has been selected as the animal to test run the space capsule. The size of the space capsule frightens Buddy, so he runs back into his cage in fear. David walks closer to the cage and comforts Buddy as he encourages him not to be afraid. His words help Buddy find comfort and determination. David takes Buddy's name chain from his neck and promises Buddy he will return the name chain to him once the space capsule comes back to Earth. Buddy's eyes lighten up with positivity and he goes into David's arms for a hug again. Minutes later, Buddy goes inside the space capsule which takes off seconds later. The capsule becomes bumpy as it gets closer to space. Feeling terrified, Buddy immediately reports the situation to David. David assures Buddy that everything is under control and assures him everything is fine. Within some time when the capsule exits the gravitational field, the situation turns back to normal. As it goes deeper and closer to space, the space capsule settles and stabilizes. Buddy looks out the window and he sees a beautiful constellation of stars shining brightly. This attracts his attention and his eyes beam with happiness. Suddenly, while Buddy still admires the stars, red lights start flickering inside the capsule, and seconds later, loud beeping noises start going off. Before Buddy could understand what was going on, the capsule crash lands on Earth while freezing Buddy in mid-air. Back on Earth, Buddy is seen unconscious, inside a dumpster. Soon after, as he wakes up, he quickly jumps out from the trash feeling disgusted. He perceives a stench on his body and sniffs himself. He pulls off his lunch pack, and he realizes the stench is coming from a diaper that is stuck to it. Buddy looks around the neighborhood but everywhere appears unfamiliar. He calls out to David but gets no response. He looks around again and sights a young boy across the road. He runs to him and asks him about the neighborhood, but the boy runs off instead. A young woman sees Buddy and almost drops her phone on the floor in fear. However, this wasn't enough. Another woman throws her food at Buddy's face the moment she sees him. Buddy stood still, trying to understand everything when an old man shoves him away with his scooter swearing at him. This makes Buddy anxious, because the last time he remembers humans, love animals. He calls out anxiously for David again through the radio on his wrist. As he looks at his radio, he realizes he is 50 years into the future and everything felt overwhelming for him, so he runs off feeling afraid. Buddy trips over himself as he runs and lands on his butt. He sits upright and sees the space capsules hatch right in front of him. This gives him a glimmer of hope that he can return back to David. Seconds later, he sees a police car drive by him and chases after it, hoping to get help from the cop inside. He finally catches up to the car and in the car's trunk he hears someone screaming for help. He jumps in and sees a big dog locked up in a cage. He tries to help the dog out but couldn't, so he suggests the dog that they ask the officer for help. The dog finds Buddy's suggestion rather strange. He tells Buddy not to seek help and tries to break free by himself. Accidentally, the dog knocks Buddy off the car. The officer picks up the cage with the dog in it, while Buddy hides beside the car. He watches the dog get dragged into a building by the officer and this scares Buddy, so he swiftly runs away. Buddy hides behind a wall close to a pile of trash and rests his hand on the wall. He feels something sticky and wet stuck to his palms and takes a look at his hand. He sees paint stains on them. Buddy quickly takes a look at the wall. He sees an inscription written on it that says, Humans suck. At that moment, a cat named Felix appears standing on top of a dumpster and fires an electric wired gun at Buddy which causes Buddy to fall on the floor. After losing consciousness for seconds, Buddy stands up again and asks the cat for his identity. The cat introduces himself as a hero cat named Turbo. When the introduction finishes, Felix drags Buddy away with him as he drives Buddy in his car to his lair. After arriving at his hideout, Felix tries to take a nap and leaves Buddy locked up in his car. However, Buddy who wasn't comfortable in the car, bangs on the glass, making noises that make it impossible for Felix to nap. Unable to bear him, Felix decides to set Buddy free, so that he can have his peace. But before leaving, Buddy tells Felix that he is waiting for his owner, David. Felix is utterly surprised hearing that a dog is waiting for a human to get him back. 
Felix then explains the present relationship between humans and animals in Glenfield to Buddy and assures Buddy that David isn't coming to save him. Feeling lost and alone, Buddy walks away sadly. A few steps away from Felix's lair, Buddy hears a loud noise coming from it, which makes him return to the lair. He stands outside the building and eavesdrops on Felix's conversation with his robot, Sinclair. Felix's robot talks about a rabbit having a space capsule and suspects that his is the capsule Buddy is searching for. Buddy walks in and talks to them about it. Felix agrees to help Buddy find his space capsule, but this is only because the person with the space capsule is a rabbit Felix secretly likes. On their way to meet the rabbit named Cassidy, they run into a cop named Peck, who chases after them. As they run, Buddy discovers that his feet can run at super speed. The cop chasing after them gets flabbergasted seeing Buddy running so fast. However, with his super speed, Buddy finally loses the car behind. Soon after, they arrive at the store where Felix suspects Cassidy will be hiding. They sneak into the store with caution so that they don't get caught. As they get into the store, Felix decides to take a nap but Buddy doesn't let him and bugs him instead. Felix finds it hard to continue working with Buddy because cats love to nap, but Buddy constantly disturbs him when he tries to take a nap. So he decides to look for Cassidy alone but Buddy runs after Felix and begs him to keep working together with him. They keep looking around and arrive at the back door. Buddy unknowingly takes a toy outside with him and this turns on the security lock. The store's back door closes, which makes it impossible to go back inside the store unless they go through the entrance again. A bicycle blocks the door they have to take to leave the store making it impossible for them to either go inside or outside. They see a young girl outside the store through the glass door and Felix realizes the bike belongs to the girl. To make her leave with her bike, Felix makes scary faces but this doesn't work. So, Buddy suggests they make cute faces at the girl instead. Felix hesitates but he gives it a shot and the girl picks up her bike and leaves. In the next scene, Buddy stuffs himself with leftovers from a trash can inside the store while Felix picks out fresh canned food from the shelf. He lets Buddy have his food, after giving it a second thought, and then picks out another one for himself. They both sit on the floor to eat and they talk about humans as they do. They realize they both have different experiences with humans. As they talk, a bright light suddenly shines on them, which they suspect to be the officer, Peck. So they run away as they do not want to get caught. They hide behind a mountain of cereals which they later climb to the top to be very safe. However, just when they think they are safe, the cereal mountain, unfortunately, crumbles down and the huge human figure also falls to the floor. They realize that it is a fish using a human-sized paper for disguise who later introduces himself as a guard member, an organization that works for animal rights. A mouse named Tinker and Cassidy show up soon after who also work for guard. While they are having a brief introduction, the cop, Peck, shows up. All the animals flee to Felix's lair for safety as it is their best option. At Felix's lair, Buddy asks Cassidy about his capsule but Cassidy tells him she doesn't have any idea about its location. She inserts a USB drive into Felix's computer and pictures appear on the giant screen. She explains to Buddy that the reason why his space capsule crashed is because of a crystalline substance called hyperlithium, which secretly powers the capsule. She tells him that Guard needs the crystal to protect the animals of Glenfield. Guard's chief scientist, Todd, enters the lair soon after. He explains to Buddy how important the crystal is and tells him how it can help save all the animals. Cassidy talks to Buddy to join Guard, and as she does this, Todd watches the city's CCTV through the giant monitor screen before him. He discovers that Peck has the capsule and sees him taking it to the station. He informs everyone about it. In an attempt to impress Cassidy, Felix goes to the station alone to retrieve the capsule. Felix excellently breaks into the station, but it seems like all efforts will be futile as he enters the wrong room and meets an imprisoned animal, named Victor. His intentions of acting smart to impress Cassidy go in vain as his device starts malfunctioning and shoots haphazardly all over the room. Victor stares at Felix in confusion wondering who he is and what he is trying to do. Just then, Felix hears the footsteps of someone outside the cell, so he hurriedly clings to the roof with his advanced device. However, after some time, he was about to fall as he was losing grip. Luckily, Buddy comes in time to his rescue and prevents him from falling down and get caught. As the cop leaves, they get outside the room and sight the capsule outside the office. Buddy immediately runs to retrieve it the second his eyes saw them. As he gets close to retrieve it, Felix's device starts malfunctioning once again. This draws Peck's attention to them and he catches them, locking them up in cages. Peck transports them alongside Victor to the headquarters while his daughter, Alex, sits in the car with him. 
Cassidy shows up to rescue them and as she opens up Felix's cage with her stick, she tells them Todd has set up a bomb in the car. It wasn't long after she says this, the car blows up and pushes them all to fall unconscious on the floor. After regaining consciousness, Buddy notices that Peck's daughter is still in the car, which is dangling on a cliff. He runs to save her and asks Felix to help him. As they try to save the teenage girl, the car falls into the ditch taking them with it. A rope tied around the capsule drags it into the ditch as well. Felix closes his eyes as he lay on the floor because he cannot bear to watch the car fall on him. Felix slowly opens his eyes as he doesn't feel any weight on him. His eyes bulge out as he sees Buddy. Buddy suddenly becomes super strong and holds up the car right before it falls on Felix. The second he realizes what he is doing, he becomes weak in the knees and drops the car. He picks up the car from underneath again, and unknown to Buddy and Felix, a CCTV camera behind them is recording everything. Every TV station in Glenfield broadcasts the superficial event. Buddy ends up retrieving the capsule. Arriving back at the lair, they drop Peck and his daughter on a bench close to their hideout. Peck's daughter regains consciousness and leaves the bench walking toward the direction of Felix's lair. Buddy and Felix, following Cassidy's order, run outside to stop Alex from coming into their hideout. Alex finds the animals cute and rubs them on their heads while they make cute faces. As they are all distracted, Peck regains consciousness as well. Felix spots Peck and quickly signals to Buddy for them to return. They then crawl into a sewer to avoid being seen by Peck. Now back inside the lair, Buddy stands happily next to the capsule as he waits for David. On the other side, Cassidy and Todd try to work on the hyperlithium but Felix finds it hard to take a nap in the noise. Todd discovers something about hyperlithium, he finds out that it can affect one's DNA and so explains to Cassidy how powerful it is. They suspect that Peck wants to use the hyperlithium's power to destroy the animals. Hearing this, Buddy tries to make them understand that Peck might only be trying to protect his family. But Todd tells Buddy about his owner who abandoned him and Victor agrees with Todd and joins him in condemning the humans. Todd and Victor try to convince Buddy that David has also rejected him. Seeing that it was about to become a heated argument, Cassidy comes in to calm them down. After calming them, she notices Sinclair caring for Felix and asks Sinclair why he always cares about Felix. Sinclair explains to her how Felix picked and fixed him when he was damaged and abandoned. He turns to Buddy and suggests him to go out in the streets as David could be searching for him there. Todd tells Cassidy that they need to learn more about hyperlithium so Cassidy decides to go outside and get the equipment they will be needing. Since Peck is still in the hospital at the time, it is safe to be outside. Felix runs outside to meet Cassidy after hearing her say she will be coming back. He shyly asks her why she will be staying the night at his place. She explains to him that she needs to stay around to better study the hyperlithium. She sits to discuss with him and apologizes for her attitude towards him when she came to rescue them. After the emotional conversation, she places Felix in charge of the capsule and leaves. Seconds later, the sun's rays put Felix to sleep and a police vehicle comes and picks up the capsule. Buddy arrives right in time to see it and runs to Felix and wakes him up. They both go after the police car, riding in Felix's car, and finally meet up with the car after a series of car troubles on the way. Felix brings out a hook from his car and tells Buddy to aim it at the trunk but Buddy mistakenly aims the hook at the capsule and it falls off the trunk. Felix doesn't mind, he ignores the capsule and focuses on chasing the car. Buddy is concerned about the capsule, while Felix is worried thinking that Peck might have already captured Cassidy. This makes them scuffle with the steering wheel as their priorities clash. They crash into a tree and end up losing the car. Soon after they get back on the road, all they could find was the capsule on the floor, so Buddy gets closer to the capsule and pulls off the cloth covering it. To their surprise, they find out it isn't the capsule after all but an umbrella. Felix immediately realizes that it is a decoy and believes Peck wants them away from the real capsule by making them chase after a fake one. Realizing the fact, they hurried back to Felix's lair. Arriving at the lair, they see all their gadgets parked outside. Cassidy who hid behind a tree comes out and asks Buddy and Felix where they had been. They explain the entire situation to her. Tinker then tells them that Peck has captured Victor and Todd. This news makes Cassidy exclaim in rage as the news makes her sad. She throws her stick away and walks away sadly giving up on the mission. Watching her, Buddy and Felix decide to get the capsule and the other members back. They go to the museum to rescue everyone but the moment they arrive at the museum, they argue over what to rescue first. While arguing, they cite someone sitting behind the computer but ignores it and continues arguing. As they still argue, Victor walks out and fires at them and then the man behind the chair turns. To their surprise, it was Todd sitting there. Buddy and Felix were in shock to see Todd so they question him to know how he escaped. Todd finally reveals he was there with Buddy in 1969. He expresses how painful it was for him to watch Buddy get selected for the experiment instead of him and tells them he left after that to begin his personal research. He also reveals to them that Victor was the one driving the car and not Peck. 
At that moment, Peck walks into the museum and Todd uses the hyperlithium to capture Peck. He mutates Peck's gene into the behavior of a dog, then he tells them he will take over the world and make every human being act like an animal. Suddenly, the ceiling lights fall on Victor and Todd, pressing them under the wreckage. Right after, Sinclair comes to set Felix and Buddy free. Victor captures Sinclair and powers him down. This broke Felix's heart. Todd and Victor go after Felix and Buddy again. When they almost had him, Buddy assures them that David will come to save him, but Todd scares Buddy off by telling him David used him and didn't care about him. Peck's daughter sees her father act like a dog, and it makes her believe he was right about animals. Felix goes to meet Buddy and tries convincing him to fight with him against Todd and Victor. He then gives Buddy a hero cape that he had made for him. Todd and Victor makes all the humans gather to a place by showing them how Peck is acting like a dog. While they did that, Felix and Buddy hack into Todd's computer. Noticing his system has been hacked and afraid his plans will be sabotaged, Todd activates the hyperlithium on Victor as his backup plan and this makes Victor's barking extremely powerful. Felix and Buddy retreat to her plan with the others and think of what they can do to bring down Todd and Victor. They fight together against Victor and end up defeating him after which they locked him inside the building. Just when they felt happy about being close to defeating them, Todd shows up on the building roof inside the Guardian, a humongous robot that he has made to destroy the humans which is powered up by hyperlithium. Buddy then following Felix's idea tries to defeat Todd with cat snacks. The plan fails as Todd is protected with a glass shield and he flings the snacks away. Todd tries to punch Buddy riding in the Guardian, but Buddy manages to stop him. Felix's car arrives at the scene and Buddy and Felix jump in and try to escape with it. Todd stops them as he picks up the car, he held it with the hands of the Guardian and pushes them out of the car and onto the floor. Controlling the Guardian, Todd tries smashing them with the giant feet but Buddy and Felix luckily escape being squashed. Todd runs after them and empties a water tank on them to slow them down. They run into a sewer to hide but Todd still comes after them, he picks them up and tries to finish them off. At that moment, Cassidy arrives. She kicks her stick at the roof with her leg and just like magic, it opens up the window roof allowing sunlight to enter. It penetrates the Guardian and puts Todd to sleep. Cassidy commends Buddy and Felix for finally working together. While the emotional speech goes on, Todd wakes up and tries to destroy them again. He points a laser at Cassidy but the red spotlight distracts him. He forgets about attacking Cassidy and chases the light instead. Cassidy seizes the opportunity and chases after him too. However, at the perfect moment, she attacks the Guardian, causing Todd to fall off. Now outside, Felix spots Peck's daughter walking around and he becomes worried as Todd tells them the Guardian has a ticking time bomb that will destroy Alex once it goes off. To save Alex, Felix enters the Guardian and takes it to space. While staring at the sky, Buddy magically develops the ability to fly. He flew to space and rescues Felix. Cassidy hugs Felix after he returns to Earth. The Guardian explodes, and this helps Peck regain his normal human DNA, and every bad thing Todd did with the Guardian returns to how it was. Alex explains to her father how nice the animals are and she tells him the animals saved the town. Peck believes her and accepts the animals as harmless and obedient. Alex then asks her father to let her keep the animals which he agrees. Alex's grandfather, who turns out to be David, realizes Buddy is his dog who went to space 50 years ago. He gives Buddy back the name tag he took from him in 1969. The owner and his lost dog reunite again and Buddy runs into the arms of old David for a hug. One month later, things settles down a bit. Peck quits his job to spend more time with Alex and they decide to reopen the old museum with a new star exhibit, the Space Capsule. While Alex helps her dad run the museum's cafe with a little help from Sinclair who has now been trained to make coffee, Buddy works as a watchdog when he isn't taking David for a walk, and Felix watches the screens for guard alerts whenever he isn't taking a nap. Cassidy reforms guard and it goes back into operation. But this time it isn't to save just the animals, but both humans and animals as it is programmed to take down bad people and animals when they try to do something bad. Thanks for watching. See you soon with a new movie recap. Till then, stay happy and chill out.